it's Prisley at ActoGames.com here, and today is Craft Monday, and we are going to be making this. All right, so here's what you need. All right, so uh, you're gonna need a planter of some sort to put your uh, man-eating plant in. Get this spooky orange. Uh, we got some uh, moss. Mm -hmm. Uh, from uh, just a craft store, like all this stuff can come from Lowe's or a craft store or something. So some moss and a planter and then you need some of this expanding spray foam uh, that you're going to put in here as well to be sort of the base. And then the stalk of your plant, you just need a stick, you know, or a branch. This came out luckily from our uh, uh, the trouble that we had back on Mother's Day. Yeah, we still have a lot uh, of sticks We still have a bunch that. of stuff to kind of play around with. The one thing you want is for the top of it to kind of, you know, turn forward a little bit or turn to the side because the pumpkin's going to attach up here and you want it kind of facing forward. So as long as it turns a little bit, you should be fine. Uh, you're going to need your pumpkin, which is going to go on the top, which is just a foam uh, artificial pumpkin. They're really easy to find right now. And if you don't make one for this Halloween, then I bet these things are like, you know, 10 cents a piece. As soon as Halloween's over, you can stock up and make some for next year. Uh, you need some fake leaves of some sort. Uh, I just thought these kind of looked cool and kind of spooky, so we're going to cut these apart and uh, use these. I thought those were cool, like nasty looking uh, leaves that we're going to use. Uh, hot glue. I've got one of these little pumpkin carvers that we're going to use to carve the thing into the pumpkin here. And uh, I also, I'm going to put some weights in the bottom of the planter because it seems to me like it'd be a little top heavy. When you put it all together, it might want to tip over. I didn't see that in any of the tutorials I watched, but it just I think I'll feel better if I do that. Yeah. Um, and I think that's about all that you need. Oh, some green paint. Yeah. Or whatever color you want to paint it in the end. Mm -hmm. You need a little paint so you can paint the whole thing and have it all one sort of uniform color when you're done. Yeah. And that's it. Mm -hmm. If you got all that, then let's get started. This okay. looks pretty easy, actually. Mm -hmm. All right? All right. Cool. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put some of the foam in your planter. Here's the foam. So, like I said, I want to put uh, at least one weight down here just to make it a little bit more stable. Will we be able to retrieve the weight? Yeah, I'm going to put some uh, wax paper in so that it doesn't, the foam doesn't seal around that. And we're just going to use a little of this cool spray foam. And what we're going to do here is we're going to fill up about half of the planter. This stuff usually expands about two to one. And so if we fill it up about halfway, that should fill up and, make, and be full. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, putting uh, whipped cream on a cake on top of your ice cream. Like this stuff should come out relatively fluffy. Let's see what we get. All right, so while we're waiting on this to set up and harden. Um, it's taking a lot longer than we expected. It's going to take a while. It may even take overnight for that to finish. But uh, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and I took a Sharpie, just a little Sharpie, and drew kind of some teeth on my pumpkin here. And I'm going to use the pumpkin carver and a little, uh, you know, exacto knife carpet cutter thing. And I'm going to cut these lines out real quick. Uh, I also cut the end of the stem off there uh, to make it easier to mount later when we get there. So uh, cut around the lines that we made there. There's some stuff in there. Uh, and now we're just going to pop this out. What I cut. There we go. There we go. So there's our mouth. We'll probably wait until tomorrow until this all hardens up for us so we can put the rest together and then we'll go from there. But that's it for today. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, we got lots of foam in it here. Went poof. It did go poof. I actually had to uh, go, I had to add some more. It didn't, it didn't actually double in size. I think that's probably because we put so much in there and like you're not, you, the foam isn't really designed to be that thick. Mm -hmm. And I kind of mixed it up a little bit and so it didn't as much as I wanted it to. So I added more last night and left it pretty loose. You can still see kind of the strands and stuff and that grew a little bit better. And that's about what you want, I think. Like it kind of just, you know, mounding up on the top of the base or the pot. Um, so now we got our stick that we're gonna use uh, to put the little pumpkin on. This is gonna be the vine or the, the stalk of the plant. And this should, in theory at least, just poke down into this foam because it's pretty loose foam. I like that. So the next thing we're going to do is put the uh, actual pumpkin uh, up on the top. And to do that, I drilled a little hole back here where the stalk was, um, up just a little smaller than uh, the diameter of the stick up there. Mm -hmm. And so it should slide on pretty good. And we'll definitely use some hot glue to hold that on. Yeah. So uh, I, like I said, I bought some of these. I thought they looked kind of cool and yeah. like spooky and Halloween-like. Uh, I took one of them and just tore it apart. And you end up with uh, all these little leaves with little wires on them. And so all we're going to do is uh, glue these 
onto some of these stems that are sticking off of the plant already. And so it makes it look like it has leaves. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. So here he is with all the leaves on. It's really, really cool looking. Wow, I'm super duper. He's coming out pretty well. I like him. Yeah, he's coming out pretty good. We gave him a little tongue. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't a tongue in the tutorial I watched, but I just saw that little piece and thought it was cute and would make a good tongue. Yeah. And then he didn't have these things in the tutorial either. And I just thought with these leaves, it would be kind of cool to give him like this little, you know, mane. Yeah. So we started with uh, bigger leaves down the bottom and got smaller as we went up, and except for these big things up here at the top. So it kind of you know looks like a real plant. Uh, he is definitely leaning forward a lot more than uh, maybe the tutorial had him. And so it does get the pot off centered. So we had to add a little bit more weight to the pot uh, to make it stable. Um, and so now we're just going to paint him. I got some, a uh, couple of really cool paint colors. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick one of these and uh, paint him up and see what he looks like. Yeah. Cool. So we're done and it looks so amazing. It's beautiful. I really, I really, really like this. And when you see it for the first time, it looks like a really big, like advanced project. But actually it's pretty easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, I could probably make one. Yeah, I think you'll make it. I bought enough stuff for us to do a second one. So you maybe you'll make one by yourself. You can paint it and cover it and do whatever you want with it. We might add a couple more coats of paint mm -hmm. and like some highlights and low lights with some markers and yep. more spray paint. Yep. But it looks really, really good. I would, I'm happy with it the way it is. I am too. I think it came out pretty well. So we decided to put some googly eyes on him. Yeah, so since Bonnie Burton is our craft senpai, <laughs> We decided that we would go ahead and uh, go, go do some googly eyes, uh, some uh, vandalize. Yeah. So we're not quite vandalized since it's ours and we built it. We're not really vandalizing anything, but putting some googly eyes on it, we thought he looks even cuter with some little eyes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye guys.